In the previous lecture, we derived the Galilean transformation equations for velocity. Now, let's actually apply those equations to the following example. At a time of zero seconds, two reference frames consisting of the XYZ plane coincide such that the origin of one is found at the origin of the second. However, as time progresses, as it increases, the second reference frame begins to move in the positive direction along the x-axis with a velocity of 25 meters per second while the first frame remains stationary. So at a time of 10 seconds, a particle within reference frame number 2 has a velocity given by the velocity vector w prime. We have 10 comma 0 comma 0 meters per second. Find the equivalent velocity vector w of the particle with respect to reference frame number 1. So we basically want to apply these three equations that we derived in the previous lecture. These are known as the Galilean velocity transformation equations. They allow us to transform velocity from one reference frame to a second reference frame. So, let's begin by describing what's taking place at t equals zero seconds. So at t equals zero seconds, these two reference frames, let's call them f and f prime, are exactly on top of one another. So x and x prime lie along the same axis y and y prime and z and z prime as well. And the origin of one lies on top of the origin of the second one. Now, at a time of t seconds, f, the first reference frame, frame remains stationary while the second reference frame f prime moves to the right with a velocity of 25 meters per second. Now at this moment in time there is an object, a particle as shown by this red point that has a velocity within this reference frame f prime that has w prime is equal to 10 comma 10 comma 10 meters per second. So, we basically want to use this result and these equations to basically transform this velocity to the velocity of the particle with respect to reference frame 1 given by f. So w, which is our velocity of this particle within frame 1, is equal to wx, wy, and wz, where each one of these quantities represents the velocity of that particle with respect to each component. So wx is equal to wx prime plus v, wy is equal to wy prime, and wz is equal to wz prime. So we rewrite it in terms of wx prime, wy prime, and wz prime. Now we know that wx prime is 10, and we know that v is equal to 25. So this becomes 10 plus 25. Now wy prime is 0, and wz prime is also 0. So we have 10 plus 25, that gives us 35 comma 0 comma 0 meters per second. So the vector that represents the velocity of the particle with in frame 1 given by f is this vector. So the velocity of the particle along the x-axis is 35, along the y-axis is 0, and along the z-axis is 0 meters per second. So this gives us the velocity of the particle with respect to frame 1. So basically we were able to use the Galilean transformation equations to transform the velocity point, the velocity vector of this point, from frame f prime to frame f. 